Hi guys, in this video we are going to create a bar chart using the free presets that come with Megamotion and we are going to create an animation that can be easily customized so we can change the height of these bars etc without modifying the animation so let's get started in here I have a quick scene, it's very simple they are simple rectangles as you can see and some text in here and that's basically it and that's what I can write over here the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce some of these elements first I'm going to go over this line in here and I would like to change its anchor point to this side so that it animates in from this side I'm going to go to my Mega Motion plugin in here to go to toolbar and all the things that I'm going to use in here comes free with the plugin so you can download this for free from this video so I'm going to go to the align to the left and as you can see it aligns the anchor point to the left and now I can simply use a scale in animation so let's go to in and out animations go to scale and we can go to this nice animation here and I simply want to do the in animation great and as you can see that line goes in smoothly just like that perfect very nice so the next thing is I'm going to do the same for these bars in here so let's go in here let's pick them all we have the option to pick all the layers at once in here go to our mega motion toolbar in here and I'm going to align to the bottom in here very simple and now I'm going to use the same tool exactly the same animation scale in from here and I want to add that to the endpoint only you can see the animation in there happening and now what we can do is we can position these at different intervals in time right over here now if you have the full version of Mega Motion, you can easily use this button and this will shift all the layers at once but in this case I'm using the free version so we can shift them by hand in this case so let's see how that looks perfect so that animation is done now the cool thing about this is that I can now come and readjust the size of these simply pull them down and up to whatever you want basically and so maybe this one is very short and maybe this one is a little bit longer just like that and as you can see the animation still works and this doesn't mess the animation at all so this is a very cool feature that we have in here perfect so let's do some more animations in here so now I'm going to pick all these text elements in here let's use a different piece at this time let's go to position and let's go to position button so that it comes in from the bottom and we can position and give it an animation on the in and there we go we have that animation done and those come in of course we can do the same thing in here we can arrange these in time just by I'm, I'm holding command to deselect a layer and do the same in here and shift them very easily like that so let's see how that looks wonderful so let's pick the, those text elements and let's see what else we have so we have an opacity in as well and another cool feature of this is that you can stack multiple animations together on the same layer so in this case I have a position from the bottom applied I can add another one in here uh, an opacity animation here to the in as well and now you can see that they would fade in as they come up so one thing that I am noticing in here that the animation I would like it to start maybe right now as you can see it is starting from down below in here it would be better if it starts from around here instead we can easily modify these animations so even in the free version so I am in the I'm going to select the position animation here and we're going to go to the animation intensity in here and we can decrease that to two percent now as you can see it comes in from there perfect now to apply this to the other layers to change that we can simply copy this command t on your keyboard copy this effect and then go to the other layers pick that, that effect and paste it over it so and you need to do this of course for all the layers so let's do that we can also do this with the plugin itself so if I go to the customizer 
I have the option to copy and delete from here and even paste on this specific layer and even on multiple layers at once. So that's a cool feature as well. Wonderful, the animation looks very nice, but now we're going to do some cool things. For instance, we are going to make this icon write like a pencil. So let's see how we can do that. But first, we are going to go to, the, to this little thing and make it loop and do a fun animation with it. Let's see how we can do that. So let's go to the middle animations now. Middle animations are animations that you can put at the middle of the layer instead of at the start or at the end. And they by default loop. So I'm going to go to, let's say, scale and see what I have in there. And I have this nice loop pounding heart animation. So let's apply that to this live icon faded, which is that little faded uh, sphere right over there. So let's apply that, apply. And if we have a look at that, we can see that it looks quite cool, but it maybe looks a little bit too much like a heart and at this time. So what we can do is we can make it a little bit slower. And let's go to loop duration. And we are going to increase the duration of this animation to something like five. Perfect. And right now it's a bit too large. So maybe we can make that a bit smaller as well. So 5% animation intensity. So let's see everything together. And finally, let's go to this edit button. And so basically users would know that this is editable. We can go on that little pencil in there, go to our plugin in here. And I'm going to go to the middle animations. And in this case, we have a special animation that is like a pencil scribble. So let's apply that. And it automatically applies it for us in the middle. So you won't see that in marker in here. I can increase the loop duration and adjust this as well if I would like. So let's see how this looks. In fact, right now it's a little bit too much, so we can decrease the animation intensity. Perfect. So this looks quite cool. And we did this with the free version of Mega Motion. And the free version comes with 20 free presets. And as you can see, you can do many different things with 20 presets since they are very customizable. But the full version actually has 2000 animation presets. So you can imagine what you can create with that. And it has very cool things like, for instance, character animations, box drops, special animations like uh, sword fights and stuff like that. So go check that out and uh, I hope to see what you create with these presets. Thank you very much for watching.